I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. We're trying to practice. We need to practice. That's what I forgot. Thanks, State of Survival. This episode is sponsored by State of Survival. State of Survival is a free-to-play zombie-themed strategy survival mobile game. It's available on iOS, Android, and Windows. You can build and design your own settlements and use different strategies and mechanics to, de to defend against massive hordes of zombies. There's over 50 different awesome characters to choose from, each with their own unique skills to help you defeat enemies. You can even join alliances and play with friends all over the world. Right now, they're teaming up with the UFC. They invited me to join and compete with other influencers for the UFC champion. You can support my team and link below, and the viewer with the highest battle power will win a free trip to UFC 277 for two. Now you can even use the exclusive MMA hero, Magnus Peterson, who is a total beast and packs a heavy punch. Download State of Survival from the event page, link in the description below, or scan the QR code on the screen to join my team. On July 24th, the viewer with the highest battle power will win a free trip to UFC 277. For two. And before August 30th, you'll also be able to receive 400 UFC free crate to help you upgrade your base and level up even faster. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Hey, Roman. Hey, guys. Today we're doing something <laughs> interesting. Uh, we found a bulletproof pillow online. Would you sleep on this pillow? It is very comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. It's a good pillow. Basically, it's just a pillow, I think, with some Kevlar inside of it. But it is. It's got memory foam. Honestly, I paid $500 for this pillow. Probably got a bad deal on it, but I saw a bulletproof pillow and I was like, you know what, Demolition Ranch needs to know. Can we be more protected while we're asleep? Like someone breaks in your door, you flip over with your pillow, you pull out your gun out of your waistband, which I always sleep with, just boom, 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 boom. And today we're shooting it with a very interesting gun uh, that probably actually will go right through it. <laughs> this is a SIG 556, sort of. So a connoisseur will know that this is not exactly that. This actually is a 5.56 upper with a 5.51 lower. So the Swiss made 5.5, they're called 5.50s and 5.51s. I think they both had the rock in mags like this. Pretty cool. And then the American made 5.56. They all took regular AR mags. And so this one just has a 5.5 one lower and a 5.56 upper, so you get the benefits of both, which is pretty cool. I've had two 5.56s before. I had the Classic SWAT and the SWAT Patrol. SWAT Classic SWAT Patrol, something like that. Uh, you actually can look at my old baby face videos. Like 10 years ago, I shot That's these guns before. Gun. Wow. And I, I sold both of them and I missed them because they're cool guns. 5.56 and it has a folding stock. It's very similar to an AK-47 in a lot of ways. Uh, it's basically made to be kind of an improvement on the AK-47. So we actually have my Meridian Defense AK right here. Just so you can kind of see some similarities, right-sided charging handles. You can see this big old AK safety is replaced with a sort of AR style safety. This one, even though it says safe, one, three round burst and 20, which means full auto, because I think they had 20 round mags. Uh, this one is just a regular semi-auto. So we don't unfortunately have a fun switch on it. It has diopter sights, which look really cool. This in the back is called the actual diopter, but these also have like night sights on them and kind of high vis. So you can see like this uh, fiber optic. And then this one flips up back here. It's a sweet gun. Piston operated, has an adjustable piston there. And um, we're gonna rip it up at this. But I'm ready to rip. First, we probably should shoot it with something a little smaller. <laughs> rip it up. All right, here, hold that. I'm going to punch you as hard as I can. Oh. It was a trick. It was a trick. Downrange uh, is our good friend, Lazy Larry. He is so lazy, all he wants to do is take a nap, and burglars keep breaking in with guns and firing at him. He's got his pillow, though. He does. Uh, he should be good to go. He should be able to block the bullet, go right back to sleeping. All right, Lazy Larry, go ahead and drift off. Roman's going to shoot a 22 long rifle. This is. My favorite 22. Ever. Ever. Wow. It's got a little suppressor on it. It's a Christensen Arms carbon fiber barrel. Takes Ruger 1022 mags. Got a little suppressor. Mm. Got a nice scope. Mm. It's got three rounds. Sink them in there. Don't fall in love. You can't keep this thing. Sink them. You guys ready? I'm so ready. It should be good. Okay. Fire in the hole. Prepare to fall in love. <laughs> oh. Is it semi-auto? No. Okay. That bolt you're holding makes it not semi-auto. 
Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Oh, no. What's the matter? Worst gun ever. Okay. If uh, those went through, thanks for watching the video. <laughs>
And so they, every time they hear gunfire, they're like, oh, what's going on over there? Maybe I can go get lunch. Look at her. She's just walking around on the range. Like this is where the, the watermelons usually end up. So she's like, let me just check it out. See if there's any cantaloupes. Maybe it's a pineapple day. I don't know. I guarantee you, I'm going to shoot this pillow right now. And I guarantee you, she won't go far. 44 Magnum. So this is a level 3A plus is actually what it says. 44 Mag. 3As will stop 44 Mag. Oh, she's already leaving. She's like, okay, let me fire a gunshot. That'll keep her around here. Don't leave, little deer. She gone. Huh, I'm surprised. They usually come closer when you shoot. She ran like 10 feet away. She's still here though. She's waiting around for those watermelons. There's not another hole back here. That seemed weird looking at a mannequin's butt. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's what we do. I think that one stopped. I don't feel anything. We're gonna step it up to a 12 gauge now. We're gonna rain some hate on old Larry. Ready to go? Yeah, semi-auto 12 gauge. Hit the safety, you're good to go. We have uh, buckshot loaded up first. You wanna go high with that. And then a slug second, go low with that. They shouldn't go Easy. through. They should stop. But as we've seen before, nine millimeter snaked right through there like nobody's business. Popped his head off. Oops. <laughs> so our buckshot went here, here, here. It looks like, yeah, some of them just went high. You went high, which is what I wanted you to do. But yeah, someone missed the pillow, so, or missed the uh, Kevlar. Gosh, dude. Dude, that crumpled. We gotta take this off. It crumpled that Kevlar inside there. <laughs> That's gonna be less comfortable to sleep on. So if you oh. have one of these and you're asleep and someone comes in with a slug and like you block the slug, which I think it did, these all hit here. Yep. And they all came through here. What the? But maybe it missed that whole Kevlar There's plate. No way, it was like very high. I thought it was too. Unless you tucked it down. Oh. Uh, whoa. Yeah, so those didn't go through the Kevlar, they just missed it. Oh, I can feel the slug. It's in there? It's right here. Oh, sweet. Nope, what is that? Oh, that's the wad. Oh yeah, there's the slug. There right it there. is. It's warm. Dang. That kept that out of Larry's body, which is a good thing. It actually didn't crack him either, so had enough cushion on the other side that he was good. Did save him. This thing is called level 3A+. Plus. Seeing that nine millimeter squirt through makes me question it. But it did go right through the same hole. We're gonna go ahead and rip it up with some bigger calibers it is not rated for now. And shoot my 5.51. Let's get it. God, that's cool. We're shooting the 5.51, 5.56, little Frankenstein right now. I freaking love this gun. I missed my 5.56s. Feels so good. You look good with it. Thanks, dude. So these have these like mags you can see through and they also have these so you can hook them next to other mags, which is kind of cool. But just chambered in 5.56, they rock in just like that. You're good to go, dude. Easy breezy. Take the shots. You going folded stock or extended stock? Oh, <laughs> we're gonna extend. <laughs> dude, that looks cool. That's great. Safety? It's uh, off? Yeah, I think you're good. You're soft. It's on fire. Woo. Oh! You broke the chain. Dang it. <laughs> Nice. I got a challenge for you. Yeah. Can you knock down all of the uh, green plates on that Texas Star without knocking down Larry? Lazy Larry. I'll take it. Can I step over here? Because <laughs> <laughs> it'll start moving. That shoulder shot. That's uh... They're going to spin. Those things spin. Shoot high first. Don't knock him over. <laughs> oh. Clean. Oh. Oh, oh Larry. <laughs> He's drunk, dude. <laughs> Pretty good. That's fun. Let me try this thing. Yeah. God, that thing is w amazing. You like it? Yeah. I just the, like the, the, the green dots are a little weird in the sun, though. It's yeah, very yeah. hard to get uh, focus on it, bright. I think. And I think, so we could change these diopter settings. You can look through a little hole. That's, that's what's cool about the diopter sight. Like, they look really cool. It's kind of like an HK looking mm -hmm. thing. Um, 
but you can change it out like this to different ranges. But also you can shoot with this on close range too. It actually is hard to see because the sun's hitting that as well. I'm going to yeah, the open site. Do a little long range down here. Oh, those are tiny. Oh, I pulled it. Dude, this thing feels good. That thing feels amazing. So I was kind of worried. I mean, this is a, a not a new gun. It's a used, a slightly used gun. The guy we got it from had actually even put this Velcro right here just to stop mm. the shells from dinging up the side. So we bought it just on an auction site and it's in really good condition. And I was kind of worried because it's two different guns put together, but dude, this runs so good. Also, thank you to Mission Ridge for sending us all the ammo we're shooting out of this gun today. We're gonna load up this mag and shoot some more. And if you want our monthly subscription shirt, this is it, linked in the description below. We have a new shirt every month at a slight discount. Oh, load her up, let's do it again. My slumber party. 556 is awesome. We've had zero failures in it. Uh, shoots really good, which I'm got pain on me, which I'm really happy about because I was just excited about how good it looked and I was really pumped to have it again and I was worried it let me down. That thing's awesome. Just hanging on his neck. Perfect. It's for protecting your face. Uh, we're going to shoot it. It's going to go straight through this. No doubt about it. I freaking love this gun. I love the looks. I love the way it's running. I think the only thing, if I could do anything different, would be to get the shorter upper on it. I think that would be sick. All right, we're shooting it folded straight at uh, straight at that guy's face. Yep, I think that was going through. Not much kick. Why does it look like there's a face on that pillow? I love it. Ho, 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 <laughs> Yep, it doesn't stop that. We also have something else because we were worried that this pillow might not work very well. So we bought a bunch of feather pillows. Let's go play with those. Oh! <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> so cool. Oh my time. gosh, <laughs> I'm eating it, dude. And last one. We hot. Shotgun was cooler. <laughs> it actually was. <laughs> Dude, 
50 cal was kind of anticlimactic, so we're going 12 gauge. <laughs> Solid. These are going to be out here for like the next 10 videos in a row. Everybody that leaves a comment on this video gets a feather. Just put a feather in every <laughs> shirt order today. Every order gets a feather. <laughs> Just kidding. We're not doing Woo! that. That'd be gross. A lot of work. <laughs> the SIG 551.556 is uh, possibly my new favorite gun. I kind of am in love with it. And we're going to start rocking it more. Go check out Roman Atwood. Uh, we did a podcast a while back. And uh, YouTube suppressed mm. it because it had some pew pews. So we need some more views I on that really podcast. really don't like guns. Man. Linked in description below is a podcast. And uh, yeah, come back and watch us again next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Dimmel and Ranch. I love you. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs>